Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Ormi. We return for Swansea Save on FM21 as we play the Swansea Way. We're back here, ramping up to the end of the season, coming to the end of April, one month to come. Some updates to give you. Um injuries have hit us. We're really struggling in places, so we're trying our best to manage that as much as we can um we've had some good results lately but uh gibbs white's done for season and i don't know if his move to man city in about a month and a half will go ahead if he's out for four to five months i think so i think it will because it was pre-arranged well before um but it, it kind of sucks not to have him for the run-in as it were uh, I, I've, you know, as I said before, I'm I'm really happy with my team, the way we're playing. We're going with Fiercy because George isn't playing uh, just yet. He's coming off the bench after returning from injury. Even Bender went down with an injury. And Tyler Roberts has only just come back from an injury. It's absolutely crazy. We've got 23 goals on each of our strikers. 13 assists for George. Uh, 11 for Brewster. And we've got 10 goals from Lewis Cook, 8 from Demir, 8 from Roberts, 6 there from Ryan Gold. You see 7 from Gibbs White with a lot of assists. And that's actually where, where he was big, was on the assists for us. Uh, Lewis Cook's going to step into the ball winning role so Elena and Brooks can roam with Demir. Because we are lacking one or two people. Um, yeah, that's kind of where we are right now. So the team that we're going to go into the game against Aston Villa that is going to be our live com uh, today as expected things are starting to look really really good dynamically we've got our three up here Bono actually our vice captains dropped down Chris Mepham's moved up which means Mepham, Cook and Bono will be probably our three team leaders unless one of the incoming guys is, is a good leader when Gibbs White leaves as I say, in about a month and a half, six weeks' time. He'll be out, Borno will probably jump back up. We'll have Cook, Meff, and Borno. And that will be our team leadership core. Captain, vice-captain, and young Welsh centre-back. Uh, running Brewster, Brooks, Heinrichs, Gold will also be leaving us. Um, but the other four will be in there, and that will be fine. And the influentials... Roberts, Wagway, George, Kai George, and Palo Versa. They're all sticking around. Add in the new players. I think we've got a healthy a hierarchy, to be perfectly honest with you. Success and Pearson both leaving. Don't really care about their support at this stage. Four groups up. Mepham, Brooks, and Roberts all in there together. The three Welsh lads. Um, they've got their own little group. Success is on his own. That is as kind of expected. Expected. The names we're being linked with are quite scary. Um, so there is that. Everybody's happy. I've done a team meeting recently. It did not go well. I told them they've been playing well. They told me, no, we haven't. I told players, thank you for your recent form. It's led us high up in the league. We've been overachieving. And they have told me, no, we're not overachieving. We're exactly where we should be. It's kind of scary being up in fifth and this team telling you this is where we should be. So obviously, our goals must progress. Match ambitions that seem to be ramping up quite tactically. Um, overall, in the league since we last met, uh, that was the Leipzig, I believe, uh, second leg that we had. All my talk about defending the FA Cup went out the window. Not a good performance. Redman off the left wing getting the goal. Um, he tormented Wagwe. He didn't really get anybody that could do much in this game. Um, both fullbacks kind of, you know, kind of outrun, outworked at times. Uh, up front, we lacked a real edge. We just wasted opportunities um 
yeah, it just it just wasn't working. It just wasn't working at the end. Day. So we end up losing again at home, which is not the best, but hey, we got to the quarterfinal. That's pretty decent in and of itself. And then we you know we get a decent early lead against uh, Sheffield. They get one back. We get one right back. Start the second half. We get what is the winner from former Blade, Rian Brewster. But Mousset gets another goal late on. And again, it's not the best performance. It's a good result. It's not the best performance. Brighton, solid win. Gibbs White, some of his last action for the club. Helping us get some points there. Both strike. Excuse me, both strikers also scoring. Uh, a draw, Gibbs White again, but a lacklustre performance against uh, Leicester. And then a good win against Leeds with the attacking mid sort of coming up trump. But a solid defensive performance as well uh, in that game. So we were looking from including Villa. I was saying nine points is good, I believe, and ten points. I'd happily take uh, nine or ten points. We've got our ten points again. Same as when we went into the Liverpool game. We could lose this and not really worry uh, for that little run what points we had. We also managed to get a goal from Demir uh, to take us 1-0 up. And then over in France at the Stade Orange Velodrome, Kai George, David Brooks, Thorvin came back with one. But we made it through against Marseille, which... I really didn't expect, which means that brings up Atalanta. We head to the Guiz Stadium, and I, I don't know. I really don't know. Arsenal play Rangers. Atalanta beat Celtic, so there's a chance here um, for Rangers to maybe face off against us in the final. Great chance for either club to actually win Europa League. We both got difficult draws. We're both away from home, um, but that would be the Asuncio final, where you know he's been absolutely phenomenal for them. He's been an, an absolute machine, but at the same time, he could have come to us and he didn't. So that might be a final. So if we get to the final, I will live com that game. If not, what I plan to do is do an end of season roundup um, at the start of the transfer window and a season preview. So that's that's likely what's going to happen. We're going to do a little bit of an end of season uh, roundup at the end of the year after the last game. We'll talk through all, all what happened, what our goals were, why we overachieved, what we failed, um, and how we need to approach things going forward. Sort of a, a state of the union address type of uh, deal just letting you know where we are and then a look forward to the future and then i'll stop the recording i'll go through i'll go into the new transfer window when all the incomings and outgoings have pretty much been done that will be done and after pre-season ready to go into the new season i'll do a little bit of the pre-season in that same video so an end of season roundup and a start of season uh preview as it would be in that video. So either the Europa League final or that video, that's what's coming up very, very soon. See what it is when we see what it is. And no real changes in terms of transfers or transfer targets beyond what I've already shown. Um, there's a bunch of good players asking prices. 24 for Murder. There's 23 and a half here for a Miri top end. But again, you're probably looking around the 20 million mark for either. And that's kind of the price range I'm looking. A Sun shows the 22. Uh, Jeff Rain Adelaide. Again, a little bit less. Uh, Samaseko, just above that. Vlasic, still decent. Manny Kamara, decent. But Taylor, I tried to put a bid in, but he's got a uh, an optional future fee of about four million. So I kind of expect Monza to take that, which would suck because you know he's 
actually a pretty good defender now and will be for the future. And we're looking for that fourth man to replace the, the Paolo Gozzi um, sort of uh, bought that fourth centre back. I think he'd be absolutely perfect. So if they don't pick him up, I might slide in and get him rather than promote uh, a young player from the reserves who I'm, I'm sort of half decided on already, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather have David. So I'm a bit upset really that that I can't do a deal there. Um, there is Matisma. I don't know. Again, I think the deal isn't too bad. And I think, again, he, he put me in, in a good place with it. So I, I don't know. But those are deals. And then there's Pavlovich as well. He is also at Monaco. I'm not sure what the price point on him might be. Everyone else, I've got a bit of an idea. Okay, now I've got an idea. I'm not so happy anymore. So actually, I'm going to remove Pavlovich in that case. And we'll probably drop them out because we don't need... I think I've got better options in both those positions if I want to go in those, dis those directions. And... Probably drop murder out for the same reason. Yeah. And get rid of those. I think realistically, this is what we're looking at. I want Batelia, but I'm not sure I can get him. So Matisma, uh, sorry, Matsima is there just in case through a pretty good deal instead of a really good deal, maybe. Uh, a Sancho, I just want him at the club um if i had this i had this uh i've really got to sell someone to make room for, haven't i so i that midfield is so stacked right now i've got cook and palo Verso, who i don't want to sell brooks who i really don't want to sell elena and demir who i really don't want to sell that's five man midfield. Plus the three coming in. We got Tonali, Tomine, Vignato. That's my eight. Plus young players. I really don't know if there's room. I really don't know if there is room. I'm probably going to say no to Nikola Vlasic, actually. Let's go younger. So, in fact, my, my best signings would probably be the two 22-year-olds. Um, yeah, the two 22-year-olds would be really good. Matsima, perhaps, to slide in as the fourth-choice centre-back. And then we'd still need a striker. I haven't really found a striker I love. So, there is that. I do think we've got some... Good strikers. So there is that, but yeah, we we need to take a look here. Ollie Watkins, way too much, way too much money. Let's have a look at strikers then. Use this as a little bit of a, a pre scope before we jump into our game. Again, I think I want twenty three or younger. And Hernandez, I mean, if I could have got him at the 26, maybe. Right now, probably not. Bustos, I like, but probably not. Eddie, Eddie, oh, Eddie for that price might just be worth it. The idea of about 25, 26 million is decent. Fabio Silva's out on loan. They still want an absolute fortune. Jonathan David. 
they want the minimum fee. Eddie for seven. Twenty eight point five bring in Eddie. I'm tempted. Tempted. Then again we got a guy like this who Thiago Tomash looks like perhaps he's a real good option as well at that price. Um Okay, let's add Eddie. Eddie's on the short list. Tomash can go on the short list. And we will. I think Greenwood's going to be good enough. Parrot might, but they, they surely won't let Parrot go cheaply. He's normally like very, very good at this. Game. Ayak man, work permit likely. I mean, that might be something to look at. Gelhart, someone to look at possibly as well. João Pedro, possibly. And. Come on. Inconsistent. Okay. I, I, I might. Big inconsistent. To be fair, I might take inconsistent at that price. Okay, I want I want new scout reports on absolutely everybody. Get me analyst reports as well, and let's see what they come back as. We'll see what their their new asking prices are. We'll see what their potentials are. And we'll work our way forward from there. It looks like work permits are good, though. Jan Thielman looks like uh, he was slightly better than Tyler Roberts. Doesn't put him too far off Brewster and George. So again, yeah, that age, maybe. That price, surely. Um, one thing before we do get into the game right now. I wanted to make sure that they become nine players. All interested. That's good. We look here at the Premier League. And we are a point clear of Chelsea. Who have a game in hand over us. We should be down in sixth place. But then again, we could leapfrog Man City with a good result ourselves if we do search by average points you'll see where we actually stand in the league right now and uh, it, it's in a pretty good place but let's not forget this is quite possibly our last chance to gain points um it is quite possibly the last chance to gain points one thing i will say is if it is and if chelsea do leap progress and if man city then go on and leap progress as well, I'll take sixth place. Sixth place is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, but 12 points clear of Brighton, so there's no way they can catch us and Everton either. So we're now playing for a top six place, minimum of sixth been absolutely amazing i want to take a quick look here as well at the goal scorers i mean broken much 30 games 31 goals the tauro martinez and he didn't play well against us he really didn't um i've said he's been broken for a long time and he keeps proving it timo verna is on 25 and 32 pushing chelsea all the way up Martial with 19 for United looking like he's turning in game into an absolutely amazing striker but then again United are OP they've made some big signings and really up there uh, Callum Wilson for Slampton brilliant brilliant return 
20 million got you 12 goals for Newcastle and a 5 million pound profit and 18 and 32 is ridiculous so he's still broken Rodrigo I tried to get him early season pre-season they wanted 50 million I wasn't going to do it 17 league goals not bad but matched by Rian Brewster who I got cheaper um 23 in total but 17 in the league I'm very, very happy with Brewster. And we haven't had any injuries, uh, really. You know, there's been little bits here and there, but nothing that I'm really worried about. Nothing recurring. Nothing that I think, like, really could be an issue. So, very happy with the return on him. Uh, Fabio Silva is on loan at Brighton. He scored 16 in 22. He looks absolutely dominant. And we can't afford him at all. And then Kai George, again, you know, he's got 15 goals, but he's got 23 in all competitions and has looked absolutely amazing. So very happy to have him on board. Pat Sandaka, um, a player who I do like. I do like, I enjoyed using him at Salzburg and very decent. And to get that kind of return, honestly, on a player like Daka, I'm going to scout him. Even though I don't think um, I would want to pick him up or be able to afford him now. But for 17 million to pick up a player that's got pace, good off the ball anticipation, work rate, uh, composure decisions, decent dribbling, finishing first touch and technique. A pretty good all round forward, I've got to say. He is a pretty good all round forward. And Raul Jimenez finishes out the top 10 level with Daka with 14 goals. So, um, pretty good all over the park, but um, we are right up there. We are right up there, and I absolutely love that. And clean sheets, we're just outside the top 10 with 8. Like Patricio, Meslia, Rea, like three very good goalies there. Martinez, I'm not a huge fan of, but he's doing well. Pickford, then Mendy, Donnarumma stepped in and become uh, a big part of Man City success, which means technically Edison should be available. Uh, so I wonder if they're actually going to sell him or not. What was that with Diaz? He wants a new contract and then not giving him a new contract being to not gonna wanna come the end of this season he might you're gonna want an absolute four if he can somehow get that price down demand a transfer I'd be well up on blowing my entire budget. Uh, let's not mince words. That would definitely be worth doing. Uh, Leno and Alisson with 17 apiece. And David De Gea has 18. Um, Man United are broken. And they've also got a really good team. So De Gea. Really not playing that well in real life. And you can see Milinkovic. Decent uh, signing there. They got Martin Odegaard, who is honestly looking absolutely broken this year. He could be one of the best, if not the best, all round midfielder for my money in the game this year. Um, absolutely think he looks phenomenal. De La Cruz, they got Hakan. They signed Diallo as well. So, very good attacking midfield options. And they got young Luis Suarez, who is scoring goals as well. Not starting every game, but he is 9-9. Nine and, nine. and again, good off the ball, work rate, decent anticipation, finishing first touch, dribbling technique, acceleration pace. So he's quick, he gets into good positions, and he takes advantage of good positions. So really, really decent striker there. And I think they only spent like 20... Yeah, 20 million exactly. So... Um, that's a very, very good pickup, but 
They are losing Scott McTominay to us. They don't need him, but the rest of that team looks filthy. I've got to say. It looks absolutely filthy. Okay. So, I think this is what we're running with. Running, Facey, Bono, Mefum, Heinrichs, Alena, Cook, Brooks, Demir, Brewster, and Kyle uh, top. The only one that doesn't know how to play his position really well is Lewis Cook. The bench, we've got an injured goalkeeper. Um, haven't got attacking midfielders. We've got centre midfielders to push our attacking midfielders up if we need to. And George is recovering from an injury, but we do have the back line covered. So, we're all good. This could be the last chance to secure points in the league this season with a couple of really big away games coming up. Just double look, uh, double check and look again. Man City at the Etihad, Liverpool at Anfield, and then a home game against Tottenham. We might be able to get something there if we need to. That might solidify the top six. But we can't count on that. Just cannot count on that. So uh, I think we're all good to go. Let's dive into the match. Five changes from the last game. We are really sort of moving people about. Opposition instructions are there, but we're all good. We're ready to go. The 4 3 1 2 narrow is up and running. And again, if we need to, we can sit more defensively. We can drop back into a narrow diamond and we'll be okay. There is our team. Four wins and a draw in our last five games. Villa go up with their team 2 2 and 1, but a very decent attacking midfield behind the striker. They are currently in 11th place. They are looking to break into the top half of the table. We're looking to hold on to a top 6 berth come the end of the season. Fire up the boys nice and early, and let's go. Carl's Alena with a good tackle. They do get the ball back. Again. Ollie Watkins. Things. Now this could be difficult. There we go. They get the overlap on Watkins. Things to Terich. That's a wasted chance. I don't know about you, but I, I fully expected him to score there. That is um, a bit of a let off for us early. We're going to go positive. Casalena. Brewster. It's headed clear. It's going to be cleaned up by Cook. Doesn't lose it. Facey now can go out wide. Amazing little run here. Gets the ball away. Oh my god, Carl George. Acrobatic attempt. Elena. Pro right will clear. They got big men. Heinrichs. Oh, what a run. What a poor finish. Worth a try. And we're definitely coming into our ascendancy now, so. There's Tedich heading on Mefum. Going to leave that for running. They're not going to press high. That allows us to play the ball up from the back a little bit. We're playing ourselves into trouble a little bit. But Casalena does decently. Demir. There we go. We get Facey free. Rian Brewster. Oh, if he could have done the first time ball across. It would have been okay. Selfish from Rian there. Oh, an early cross to his strike partner. And Kai George would have scored there, I'm pretty sure. There is George. He does get free. Back to David Brooks. On his left peg, I think. Drills it in. Number six for the season. These Mazalas have worked out really, really well for me at times. Especially against teams sitting back deep. They tend to, uh, they tend to follow my strikers and the attacking midfielders in. And that gives us a bit of room on the edge of the area to work things in. So we're three on three here. We're being marked here with our other striker. And you can see now we've got three people here technically on Brooks. But just takes it first time. Lovely strike. And if we're able to take advantage of opportunities in that way, then the overloading works quite nicely. If we are countered, it is a problem. So, we need to be careful. And Mings again, but Brooks, look at him go. Gets his goal. 
and then works the space, gets everybody up and running where he needs to be there, and Heinrichs back to Cook. Oh, that's lazy though. Jack Grealish, that's a good goal. That's a good goal. Berate the team. Berate the team after that. Give up possession on the edge of your own area like that. Absolutely not good enough. Had time, had room. It's a beautiful finish by Grealish. You don't give him that kind of space running to the edge of the area. Technically, we're up to third. Game in hand for Arsenal. Elena, another dead ball. Martinez comes and claims it. We have just talked a little bit of trash about Martinez as well. Thank God, Tedic. Chris Merfum does decent. Does decent. Yeah, right now, looks like they're able to counter-attack at will. I'm going to drop down. Cautious. Encourage the boys. Try and pick their head up before half-time. Um, but yeah, they're definitely sitting and countering on us. We've been a little bit wasteful in possession. I'm not happy with that, boys. I'm not happy. Okay, hands on hips. Make the difference. Hands on hips make the difference. Strikers, pump fist. A lot more to come from you two. There's a lot more to come from you two. Positive, demand more. And let's really start to take control of this second half, please, boys. Uh, Heinrichs, really not playing well. Looks like Ryan Brewster and Demir struggling up top. Facey to Brewster. Back to him. This is nice. Facey going with it. Going to the byline. Gets the ball across. It is cleared. Cook. Nice ball out to Heinrichs. He's got a chance to make up for his misdemeanor earlier. But he loses it. And again, Jack Grealish. And here's Terich. And this is not what we want. Because they do have a man at the far post. They find him. Brilliant tackle by Young. Oh my god. Young Tracy there. with an, uh, Sorry, Facey with an absolute... Beastly tackle. Come on, Rian. There we go. He does win it. It's a good ball. Kai George. Okay. Ah. Damir. Damir come off for gold. Gold for Carl's Elena. Let's get Elena further up the field. Brewster isn't working his magic. So Tyler Roberts has to step up. And Heinrichs has not been great. George. Sorry, you do not get game time today. That's just the way it is. This is our last chance to get a win probably this season. Tough game against um, Man City and Liverpool away. And then home draw against Liverpool uh, might be the best we can hope for. So, Okay, we're going to settle for a draw. We're probably going to settle for a draw. Unless we screw this up, which... Risky passing somewhere. Kai George. George. Oh my god. He manages just somehow to get the ball in there. Brooks. Alina. Carl's Alina off the bench. Stealing it there. At the end of the game. Let's go. A bit of magic. Oh my god. Somehow Kai George holds on to this. Somehow. He does. Played back, edge of the area. Brooks seemingly shoots a goal. But Elena redirects. It's absolutely amazing. Now Roberts is able to go down this left wing. We've seen him do this so much. He loves to make this kind of run. Cash gets back. Martinez, Tadic, far too easy. But Bagway, Brooks. Wagway again, Ryan Gould now. Pick this up, finds Tyler Roberts. Back to Gould. Oh, Kai George is not going to get there. I thought he was in. I thought he was in at the back. I know time is over. But it doesn't hurt. Do this kind of thing from time to time. 
just to make sure. Make sure the game is done. Basically throw him. Time wasting. The young man. Oh, gets us out of it. Carl Zelena. Another big goal from a from a signing in the second half of the season again. Uh Demir just didn't show up. Brewster didn't show up. And Heinrichs was at fault for the goal. Wagway comes in, solidifies that back line. Gold off the bench does okay. Roberts held the ball up okay. And we profit with a 90th minute winner in our penultimate home game. We were poor. We were poor. I don't care what you want to say about it. We got away with that one. Oh my god. We just about got away with that one. Okay, Chelsea have two games in hand. Arsenal have a game in hand. It will be what it will be. If I can get a single point out of my final three games, I will be happy. Uh, and that would actually put us on 69 points, which will be kind of fun, I guess. That would be nice. Oh, Eddie. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Eddie, oh, do I want to spend money on Eddie like that? Probably, possibly. Um, I think I'll delay the deal, but I'm going to talk to him. The squad player, I'm happy enough to do that. Can I delay you regular starter until there? Yes, I can. Okay, good. So, squad player going on to be a regular starter. He enjoys big matches, consistent, is not injury prone, is a good young English striker, under 30 million. Like him and Brewster, Kai George, and Tyler Roberts. Oh, that, that's such a decent, that's such a decent front four. Such a decent front row. Okay. 25 grand a week he's on right now. Imagine his pace coming off the bench as well, guys. I mean... I'm willing to go up to 45. One and a half million between you and your agent. Give you the 15 here. I'll give you the 10 here. I'll get rid of these... And I'm even going to give you an assist bonus of 10 there. So 60, if you score a goal and you assist, then that's up to 80 million, 80 million. Wow, 80 grand a week and one and a half million to you and your agent. He wants the big money. He wants the big money. He wants 4 million signing on. Um, four million signing on sixty-five, so he'd be on a hundred grand basically if he scores and assists every week. Hundred grand, Eddie. I think this is where we're moving. I think we're moving into these wage territories now. And as much as I think this is too much money, let's not forget that in the championship, Swansea are paying more than this. To Andre Ayew and Eddie's a better player for now in the future. I'm happy to do that deal. So there'd be four million. We'd be on about thirty-two and a half million total for Eddie as a twenty-two year old. I mean, I'm sure I could get in a couple of seasons if it doesn't work out. I could get forty to fifty for him surely, and if it does work out, that's an absolute bargain anyway. It's a risk. That kind of money is a risk when we've already got a great one-two punch and a lovely sub option but you think about it a 20 year old brazilian two 22 year old englishmen and a 23 year old welshman like that is so good and so scary and can develop for the future um and yeah if we get big money for let's say george 
I see someone at PSG comes in with 100 million he wants to leave. Rather than going Roberts and Brewster, we could go Eddie and Brewster and still have Tyler Roberts off the bench. And then bring up a young player. I think that's what we need to look at. We need to be too good and have too many good players rather than miss someone when they leave. And I think that's what it is. The only player I think we can't afford to sell right now or lose for an entire season is going to be Tim Ronning. That leaves us with Stephen Bender. And no disrespect, he's a good goalkeeper, but I don't want him to be my only choice. Then we got McShado behind him, who's, again, decent. Um, they wouldn't be a bad one-two punch, but not for where we're going. Champions League, Hunt, football, that would be a little bit low for my liking. And Keith Williams, long-term backup. So we have got some young goalies coming in. Yannick Saar, again, doesn't look like an amazing goalkeeper for the future. It doesn't look amazing now. More to the point, I think. Uh, decent in both cases. And again, Jamie Cota. I hope they'll be better than advertised. I really do. I hope all these players are better than advertised. But I think if we're lucky, they go up to four star. I don't think any are going to go above that. I think they're all around that three star. So somewhere between two and a half and three and a half. Kind of the range I feel all these players are in. Eddie be big, Vignato, Tomine, uh, sorry, McTominay and Tonali revamp the midfield. One extra centre-back. And like I say, we're good to go. We'd have done all of our, our transfer work before this season's ended, never mind the start of next season. That might give us a little bit more of a head start on rebuilding team cohesion and atmosphere after it all collapses. Um, but yeah. That's where we are. We've got this Europa League semi against Atalanta. Um, first team's going to play them. I'm probably going to play the reserves and the kids against Man City, Liverpool, to be fair. I'm not going to play my first team in those games. If the kids steal anything, then so be it. But I think we've got to sacrifice those games for the Europa League. And depending, depending if we get to the final, we might sacrifice Spurs as well. So, pretty much end of the season, like I say, we'll do a little roundup and we'll do a pre-season. Uh, if we get knocked out of the Europa League, if we get to the final, however, we will be back to watch that live to end season two. So, absolutely amazing stuff. Thank you very much for the continued support on this channel and over on Twitch, as always. Uh, you can... Follow me on Twitch, subscribe if you want to be really generous uh, with your money as well as your time over there. Here, you know the deal, like, comment, subscribe, it's what we do. It's uh, part of getting the algorithm pointed in your direction. Every comment helps, every like helps, it takes just a second, but it does make a big difference. So if you want to grow here, that's what I need you guys to do, so I hope that you do consider doing so. Link in the description as well to my Twitter and to my Patreon where you can also contribute and become an accomplice and supporter to the videos and streams we have going on. Season 1 was mental. Season 2 has just ramped up the stakes. We're currently sitting in third. It's our highest point since week 6. But we dropped down to fourth. Um, I really did expect when we were down in this to start coming down and maybe have a little bit of a resurgence somewhere but the last few games sort of lose and come in somewhere mid-table we've gone up and like I say I think 6th place which I think on balance of the season if we got 6 that might be a little low maybe 5th would be fair Top four would be a reach. Bulk of the season's been sort of fourth to fifth, but mainly fifth. Um, Liverpool and United still fighting for the title. So that's going to be interesting to see. But I think we've done really, really well. I'll see you next time. Till then, take care of yourselves and each other. 
Wish me all the best against Atalanta and for the run-in that we've dreaded, but we're in such a good position that, like I say, sixth place, I'll happily take that. If we fail to pick up a single more point, I'm happy. I don't care. All I've asked for is to not be involved in the relegation. We've done that. To do okay in Europe, we've done that. Domestically in the Cups, I really didn't care. We overachieved FA Cup, we underachieved League Cup. This has been a massive success. Let's see where it goes together as we continue playing and building the Swansea way. See you soon. Bye.